It's not a story about fear. It's a story about how to conquer your fears. Raise your hand if you're wrinkled. Go ahead. Raise your hand if you're wrinkled. Okay. Raise your hand if you're wrinkled and you've been scared this week. Raise your hand. Look around. See? See? Even growing ups are scared all the time until we learn how to turn on the... This afternoon, we're going to move 12,500 pounds of set into this room. From wall to wall, we're going to create oversized furniture that makes us look like little kids. And we'll be in Randy's bedroom. And we'll meet the monster under the bed named Walter, who's a big furball and about as powerful as the Minnesota Vikings are in football. Yeah. Not. Now I lay me down to sleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep when I'm scared and I fear the night Jesus and turn on the light turn on the light turn on the light Lord Jesus, and turn on the light. Pastor Sean is going to come pray for Adventure Camp now. Let's start off his prayer with a little warm-up prayer. Say, Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I couldn't hear you say, Dear Lord. Dear Lord. You are my light. You are my light. You are the one who saves me. You are the one who saves me. So why in the world should I be afraid? So why in the world should I be afraid? Pray, Sean. And Lord Jesus, I just pray that you would cast out all fear, whether it's yeah. kids or adults. Yes. Lord, that this would be a day where we see that your light shines brighter than anything else that we can encounter. And Lord, I pray that kids would come. I know there are a lot of families who are debating whether their kids are going to come or not even sure it's coming so quick right after school. But Lord, I pray that you would bring kids out in droves. And I pray that this week you would have your hand of blessing on this camp. Thank you for Mr. Jane's team. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.